kind of feels like something out of the jungle book. We just want to find the star of the show. I'm not even joking, this is actually terrifying. We get two adult tickets round trip to Central. All right, we made it to Sintra. Sintra is a beautiful place. People say if you're going to Lisbon, you have to go to Sintra. It was just about a 30 minute train ride here. We got a round trip ticket. Uh, so we're just gonna explore today, probably gonna have lunch and then go back home whenever we feel like it. Sounds good to me. of feels like the something out of the jungle book are there a bunch of trees that are like tropical trees and yeah. we're in mid-november and yeah it's like all like overgrown and kind of like up in like jungly mountains yeah with these like really pretty castles and structures nestled within them so it was 22 euros for the both of us to get in here uh, and i think we just have until six to explore well we won't be here until six but i think it's pretty Decent price. Yeah. We yeah. just want to find the star of the show. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. So we're gonna, we'll save that for later. We'll look for it. Very crowded. <laughs> oh, no. I heard someone earlier say this looks like Avatar, and I completely agree. Which is weird because, I mean, we were just like in a big city square yesterday yeah. on the beach, and now we're like in the jungle, and I feel like they're like tigers and panthers I, I will say I am a bit worried we're going downhill because there's a lot of uphill to be climbed but it's hard to figure out where anything is it's very uh get lost type of thing which I like yeah that that kind of looks like back to the main road maybe so we might have to turn around <laughs> you can go first you've got the camera yeah Oh, okay. This is not gonna be fun. Please don't be like, oh, I hate this. Don't be any spiders or anything. Do I'm gonna get, turn the flash on? Yeah, let's get some light. I'm not even joking, this is actually terrifying. Like, we're like going deep things. into a cave that I don't think we're supposed to be going down, but we're gonna keep walking. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh God. We survived the caves. That was pretty scary. That was interesting though. Yeah, it was fun. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. Okay.
Lauren is once again taking people's pictures. She's done it uh, like twice since we've been here. In fact, you might remember this little clip from our last video. Whenever somebody uh, asks Lauren to take a photo, she goes like full photographer mode. Since it's happening so frequently, I've decided to try to capture every instance of it on camera, and I'm calling it the Lauren Photography Counter. And we're currently up to two, but if you want to play along at home, I recommend subscribing to the channel, and we'll see how many times we can catch her in the act moving forward. This is the best view of this whole place. Look at that mountain. You get the city, wait, let me find the city. The city all right here. Wow, it is hard to take everything in. It's so beautiful. Back into the caves we go. Different caves though. Out of the caves we go. <laughs> Finally, after several hours of walking around, we had arrived at the thing we were most looking forward to seeing. You like it? Yeah, I thought it was really cool. What do you think? It was, well, I'm just glad it wasn't that first thing we saw. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you don't have time to like really appreciate yeah. because you're just being kind of shuffled through, but yeah, enjoyed it. So I think that pretty much wraps up everything in this whole jungly section. So we're gonna head back down into the town, maybe pop into some shops, see what we find before we catch a train back to Lisbon. So let's go. So we lied, we're not going back into town yet. We are checking out the a, palace. A palace. there, we were in there, 
Now we're going down there. So we ended up spending a good few hours walking around the town. We popped into some shops, got an early dinner. We unfortunately never ended up getting to the Palace of Pina, but that's okay. We absolutely plan on returning to Lisbon someday in the future. And so we'll see it then because it looks absolutely stunning in the pictures. So that was our day in Sintra. It's a beautiful town. I'd recommend going if you've got the time, but honestly, I would prioritize Lisbon. Lisbon has so much, uh, but if you're going to Lisbon for a few days, yeah, I would say definitely make time to come here. But we're heading back now. It's about five o'clock because we have an early travel day, which of course will take you with us. Uh, but we want to make some food at the hostel that we bought on our first day here, eat a bit, do some editing, all that stuff, so we can get up early. I think I said this earlier, but it just, I'm glad that today's experience was something unexpected. I'm glad that it feels very different than anything else we've done in Portugal. And I feel like it was a very good way to sort of wrap up our time in this country because tomorrow, uh, well, it's a travel day, so we're gonna get back early and rest for that. And then we head to, where are we heading next? We are heading to Spain. We are on a rowboat in a park. We're about to get cookies from nuns. No. Yeah. 